I've been teaching um, and training for many years uh, and I've been a practicing surgeon uh, for the best part of 20 years. And I always struggled to think about how do we change the way we teach people. I always felt that knowledge should be shared with as many people as possible. Um, but actually, um, in reality, you're training people just around you who are close to the operation, for example, in my case. And my question was, how do we change that whole paradigm? How do we teach more than one person or two persons? How do we teach or train tens of thousands of people across the globe? Welcome, everybody, to the world's first 360 immersive video of an operation. Virtual reality and other technologies like this will allow us to bring down the cost of teaching and training enormously. At the moment, we have these type of machines which allow you to train using various simulation techniques using a computer system. But these are quite expensive. Um, they may be costing over £100,000, for example. It's a one device used for one person at any one time. And that's a limiting factor. And I think it's about using low-cost technology. A mobile phone, for example, is where we access information uh, to parts of the globe that need it uh, because it's almost ubiquitous in the world that we live in. Uh, everyone knows how to download an app, for example, so latest technology, but in a way that we can access people around the globe. So it becomes much more affordable and the reach becomes universal. And VR and AR, virtual reality and augmented reality, are becoming much more commonplace. It's a platform to be used, and I think in most medical schools, for example, anatomy will disappear from cadaveric workshops. It'd be all around augmented reality. You can recreate the same uh, skill sets and learning in AR as in real life. So I think that that's where we're heading towards, that AR and VR will become the mainstream way of learning. Now I'm looking at holograms and teleportation. How do you transport yourself into another part of the world to train somebody else. As an avatar, recreate your image and send you across to another part of the globe where you can actually interact with somebody else and actually you'll be in that environment with them. If you can add machine learning to that and add facial expression so that avatar talks like you, speaks like you, has your knowledge base, and if not more than your knowledge base, suddenly you can teach people around the globe. But it will be an avatar teaching them rather than yourself. Hi, I'm Arjun Karpo and thanks for watching The Edge. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes and don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Live channel right here at the bottom of the screen.